Yo, what's going on, you guys? Now, listen, I just saw an early screening of Transformers 1, and I got to admit, I was completely blown away. This movie was so much more than I expected it to be, especially considering I was one of the people that was not overly impressed when I saw the trailer. I mean, obviously, it's a buddy comedy geared towards children and families. And even though I'm a family man myself, I wasn't 100% sure that I was going to be on board with this. But honestly, I was pleasantly surprised. I can admit when I'm wrong, and this was definitely one of those times. This story was just so strong in its world building, and it had great character developments and lots of Transformers lore. And that was one of those things that I've been asking for for many years. I'm sure lots of fans have as well. We want to see more lore on the screen. Not only that, we want no human characters. And Transformers 1 delivers on all fronts. And this is coming from somebody who holds the Transformers Exodus origin story in such high regard. I was really worried they were going to butcher Optimus Prime and Megatron's origin story, but they did not. In fact, they gave us a great insight into Orion Pax and D16's friendship. And they really allowed us to see just how different the two characters are, both in their personalities and their worldviews, where... Something happened that I wasn't really expecting. I expected D16 to be a little bit more rough around the edges, but he was actually the more calm, collected, maybe more realistic character, whereas Orion Pax was way more reckless and ruthless and always found himself in some sort of trouble and often would get D16 in trouble as well. So to see their friendship presented in a way where they're almost contrasting versions of themselves, I thought was really well done. And one of the things that I really loved was the inclusion of Transformers lore. I won't get into any details just because I don't want to spoil anything, but just to see how the history of Cybertron plays a role on the friendship between Orion Pax and D16, both positively and negatively, was really great and handled in a perfect way. Of course, that friendship isn't meant to last because eventually they have to become mortal enemies, and the film does a great job sprinkling seeds all throughout the course of the story, so when D16 does turn on Orion Pax, it almost seems justified and even right. There was also a couple nods to the 86 film Transformers the movie, which I really love because I hold that in such a high regard, so to see that reimagined and almost kind of placed within the movie was a lot of fun, and I can't wait to re-watch this film just to catch any of the Easter eggs I might have missed. So should you go and see Transformers 1? Absolutely yes. If you were like me and you saw the trailer and you weren't impressed by it, maybe it didn't inspire you at all, here's my suggestion to you. Suppress all those feelings, get your ass in a theater seat, go see this movie, because this is a must-see for Transformers fans.